Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video we are going to solve NCERT Maths Class 6 Chapter 11 Algebra Exercise 11.5 Question Number 2. So friends without wasting any time, let us begin. This question is complete the entries in the third column of the table. Now you can see one table is given and some columns are in over here. First is the equation. So equation is given to us in this column. Then value of variable. Now there is a variable y in these equations. So uh, we have assumed the value of that, that variable y as this 10, 8 and 5. Okay. Now it is asking us equation satisfied yes or no. So what is it? Uh, meaning by equation satisfied you know that in an equation LHS and the RHS are equal right so when you solve the equation both of these are equal same we have to do here but this time you have you can see that uh, you can see that 10 and this y variable is there so we have to solve the LHS then we will see if it is equal to the RHS or not if the uh, the number in the uh, uh, left hand side is equal to the number in the right hand side then equation is satisfied but if it is unequal then the equation is not satisfied so let's move on first is 10 y is equal to 80 now you can see in this equation the uh, the value of y is 10 so it is given 10 now you know how to write this 10 y is equal to 10 into y right that uh, now if this y is 10 you will do 10 into 10 right and that is 100 right 100 and now if you see so this is 100 here and uh, in the that side in the other rhs we have 80 so is it equal no it is unequal so that means equation is satisfied or not no equation is not satisfied so you can write over here no then next you see is 10 y is equal to 80 again the same equation then y here is 8 so if you do 10 into 8 like this and that is 80 and you you can see that in the R, uh, rhs you have 80 and we have solved the lhs and that is also 80 so that means both of the sides are having the same value that means this equation is satisfied so yes then you have 10 y is equal to 80 again same equation then here y is having value as 5 so now if you see so you will do 10 into 5 again that is 50 and if you see once again so 50 and 80 are unequal right so you cannot say that uh, 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 the lhs and rhs are equal so that means equation is not satisfied Fine. right let's move on to the next part friends next part is 4l is equal to 20 this is the equation and first d part the value of l is 20 now again if you see so you will do 4 into 20 that is equal to 20 right so over here uh, maybe you can uh, remove this much of part from it right so you first solve the lhs for that you can see we have replaced this l with the value of l which we have assumed and that is 20 so you have to multiply this by l but that l over here is right now 20 so if you will multiply this you will get 100 uh, sorry you will get 80 right so 80 and if you see so this 80 is coming in the left hand side but if you see in the right hand side we are having 20 so what does that mean that means that the both of the sides of our equation are not equal and in that case what we say is the equation is not satisfied so you can write here no then we have 4 l is equal to 20 and here l is now 80 so you will do the same thing for into and then l over here is 80 so 4 into 80 and that uh, will be 320 now if you see 320 again here we have 20 in the right hand side but 320 is in the left hand side so this equation is also not satisfied right then if you see we have 4l is equal to 20 and same here l is now 
having its value as 5. So, you will do 4 into 5, 4 into L and L is 5 here. So, 4 into 5 and that is 20. So, you can see that both of the sides we are getting 20 in the LHS 20 in this right hand side is 20. So, that means what? Both of the sides are equal. So, that means the equation is satisfied. So, this you can write here. Yes. Let us move on to the next part. Now, this part is b plus 5 is equal to 9. In the first one value of b is 5. So, let us see. If you put this b as 5 and this plus 5, that is equal to 10, not 9. So, you can see both this b plus 5. If b is 5, then it will be 10 and the, in the RHS, we have 9. So, you can see both of the sides are unequal again. So, that means equation is not satisfied. So, you can write a no. Then we have b plus 5 same equation then b is having a value of 9. So, if you put this b as 9 plus then this 5 here that will be uh, that will be 14 right. So, 9 plus 5 that is 14. So, LHS is 14 and RHS is over here 9. So, that means what equation is not satisfied. So, you can, you can again write a no here. Then b plus 5 is equal to 9. Same equation, b is 4 now. So, if you do 4 plus 5, right, 4 plus 5, that is equal to 9. So, this 9 in the left hand side, this 9 in the right hand side. So, that means both of the sides are having same value. That means this equation is satisfied. So, you can write a yes. Then let us move on to the next part. You see the equation is h minus 8 is equal to 5 in this part and first one is h is equal to 13. So, again you replace h with 13 minus 8 right that is what 5. So, you can see in the LHS we will get 5 but uh, in the RHS are we getting 5 this 5 yes. So, you can see both of them are equal again that means this equation is satisfied. So, you put a yes over here. Then next one is h is equal to 8. So, you will do this h is now 8. So, 8 and this minus 8 that is equal to 0. So, 0 here in the LHS then 5 here in the RHS. So, is it equal? No, it is not. That means our equation is not satisfied. Then we have h is equal to 0. So, you put 0 at this place of h again minus 8 so, at the place of h, we have put 0, 0 minus 8 if you do, so you will get answer in negative numbers that is minus 8, but you can see that the number here is a positive number 5. So, clearly both of them are having different values. That means this equation is also not satisfied. Let us move on to the next part. Friends, next part is the equation is p plus 3 is equal to 1 first part value of p is given as 3. So, let us do it. So, again you replace this p with 3 plus 3 and is that 1? No, that is 6. So, this is coming in the LHS and you see here in the RHS it is 1. So, can you say that both of them are equal? Not at all. So, this equation is also not satisfied. Then p plus 1 same equation here. So, p is equal to 1 now. So, you again replace p with 1. So, you do 1 plus 1 sorry 3 here. So, this is 1 plus 3 that is equal to 4. So, again you see 4 this LHS 1 in the RHS. So, not equal not satisfied p plus 3 is equal to 1 same equation p is now having its value as 0. So, you do 0 plus 3 that is equal to 3. Again, you have 3 here and 1 there. So, again, not equal. So, not satisfied. So, let us move on to the next part. Now, next is this part. Again, there is the same equation and first one is p is equal to minus 1. So, you have two numbers here. p is minus 1. You have then plus 3. So, these are the two numbers you have. Now, you can see we have to use the property of addition of integers integers right so first you see minus 1 and plus 3 are having different signs so you find their difference 
3 minus 1 is 2 and you see so now you put the sign of the greater number so greater number is 3 so you put plus here so plus 2 here we are getting in the LHS here we are getting 1 in the RHS so again it is not satisfied then you have again same equation then P is now minus 2 now you have minus 2 and you have plus 3 so you see so if you see again they are having different signs and when they are having different signs what we do is we will so find the difference 3 minus 2 is 1 put the sign of the greater number greater number is 3 so plus so uh, pl uh, one, uh, plus 1 right so you can see here uh, 1 and 1 we are getting in the LHS and in the RHS as well so that means yes the equation is satisfied so in the last this is the last one which is making the equation satisfied and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video also leave a like on this video till then stay home stay safe wear a mask maintain social distancing and take good care of yourself bye bye